Hello, today we're looking at a Mute Emulator by Librawave. It's called Sordina and they've recently updated it to include some string mute models, which should be interesting to look at. I love this product for its brass mutes and cups and other bits and bobs because it really does expand the plethora of sounds that you have. And especially with a lot of plugins and especially free ones out there with brass instruments, they don't include mute samples. So it's nice having something like this to expand the sound of the actual instruments you already own. Plus you can experiment with other instruments and throw it on as they kind of suggest there a bassoon and see how it sounds uh, with a trumpet's hammer mute. So uh, interesting, but as always, I like to see how this works in reality. It does have some examples down there, but we're gonna be putting it up against things like BBC Symphony Orchestra with the actual mutes they sampled and see if the mute emulator on a freebie can match that. So really put it to the test and then we'll experiment with some of the strings and new features and bits and bobs, kind of walk you through the plugin and see if it's really something for you. Link is in the description. I am an affiliate of Liberwave, so if you do decide to purchase this, a small percentage goes towards me, but as always, this will be an honest review. I'll let the sounds and bits and bobs speak for themselves. So you can be an honest judge if this is the product for you. Now, paperwork as always, you can read at your own leisure. What we're really interested in is the sounds themselves. So let's jump in. This is the free trumpet I will be using. It's available within the free version of Contact. I'll leave a link to this as well. It's an absolute gorgeous trumpet. We will be comparing it side by side with BBC Symphony Orchestra. As we can see right down there, we do have some mutes. Don't know what specifically they used, but we do have mutes staccatissimo and longs, which we will be putting side by side with this freebie which doesn't include any articulation then it's legato and this plugin that we're actually looking at right now now this is a very simple and easy plugin to use it is stereo which is essential you can see here we have all our instruments that they kind of suggest everything from a brass trombone cello contrabass euphonium flaghorn there's plenty of choice there specifically of course we're going with the trumpet for now we will look at strings in a bit and then you have choices of mutes and quite a wide selection as well big bucket cup Harmon, some miscellaneous bits and bobs practice straight and even within that we can see there's just so much content so much stuff to mess with um, I'm just going to go with the, the top one I think the bucket uh, Hermans and Berg stone lined I think so that's what I've got selected but before we actually listen to how good this actually is it's probably worth listening to the sample So that's our beautiful trumpet. Now let's turn this mute emulator on with the bucket and see how this now sounds. Just deactivate that for a quick side by side. Try a cup. Deactivate it. Let's try a Harmon. And with this we get the wah wah as well. A bit of wah wah. If you do want to go into the sound a bit more, you've got the EQ right there. So if you want a little bit more of something else, you can adjust it. Right clicking will allow you to actually delete the point or change what type of filter or pass, I should say, you have 
on it, uh, which is nice. You can adjust the sound. So it definitely does something to it, but how accurate actually is it? Let's now move into our little paid trumpet over here in, Lod in BBC Symphony Orchestra and have a quick listen to the one without the mute right here. I'm convinced that I feel it does what it says on the tin. It's a mute emulator. It works well. I know we did a lot of flicking between different bits and bobs there, but as you can see in the text, what was actually going on and definitely expands the palette of sounds that we have. With this instrument, we literally have nothing else. And don't get me wrong, out of the box, this sounds absolutely gorgeous. But this just allows us to do so much more with the sound, to fine tune it a little bit more, uh, which is really, really nice. There's still these little bands there as well. But I'm impressed, and I feel we've barely scratched the surface of this. There's so many different things going on here. If we just make sure that's active, maybe flick through a couple of these different ones. So, well, this is the box standard sound. Really, you can find the sound you're looking for to adjust your instrument. I, I really like that, and I really like how much stuff there really is. But I think we should move on now from the trumpets and see what else they have. Okay, every instrument's slightly different. So for some, there are slight different variations, like the saxophone there. We just have the practices piccolo trumpet. We've got different mutes and harmons and practices. Um, I only just come, yeah, I really am only just scratching the surface in this video. But now we're going to move on to some violins. So for the strings, we're going to be using Helix, which is from the Sign Factory series. It's free instruments by Orchestral Tools. Again, links in the description. We're looking at the whole strings ensembles. This makes a good comparison because we have a bit staccato and a sustain uh, articulation so when we stick some maybe those collegnos on we'll see what sort of effect that has but we're going to be comparing it side by side with again BBC Symphony Orchestra uh, over here we've got the violins loaded up there as well and we've definitely got some longs there we've got flautando because there is a flautando simulator and I believe we got some mute right over here as well and some salpont because there's some salpont 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 models as well so lots of content to get through so without further ado uh, this is the plugin nothing very exciting going on there so we're just going to be keeping it on this screen here and activating and deactivating it from here so starting with the free strings we're making sure this is completely turned off this is how it sounds we'll start with spiccato and we're gonna now add our little simulator 
uh, to see what will happen. We've got the call leg now up. That's Collegno 2. We've got Collegno 1 as well. It takes a little bit of the top end off, but it's not quite convincing for me. How does that sound with the longs? It takes a little bit of the high off, but I'm not noticing it as much, especially if we go into something like Spitfire Audio over here and turn the call leg note on. Uh, where are you? Right there. It's a short, and this is the sound we'll get. So that's not the sound we're getting from this call leg note. Um, Nevertheless, let's move on and see what else this plugin can actually do. Uh, Carlegno, Carlegno, the flautando. I should kind of show you everything. There you go, flautando, sol pont, uh, sol with a mute. Uh, lots going on there. Saltasto as well. And we've got some misks at wire, some orchestral stuff, and some practices as well. So let's see if we can get through all of these. Let's look at the flautando. Again, we'll compare it unactivated. I am noticing a difference there. It just takes off that high end, it just softens it that little bit more. And I think I actually prefer the flautando sound there, well definitely to the Carl Legno, but I prefer the flautando sound overall in comparison to when it is um, not activated. Because if we actually go into the BBC Symphony Orchestra and just look at the general long sound, this is how it sounds. And then we have our flautando. It is a softer sound, so moving actually back into the plugin, making sure it is active, it is doing exactly that. It's softening the sound because we deactivate that, you're going to get those highs. Which is very natural. But if you want that softer sound and you don't want to buy BBC Symphony Orchestra, I guess there are other Flautando out there. But hey ho, Flautando 2 uh, deactivated first. And then activate. the sound a little bit more definitely wear headphones if you have, haven't put them on already for this uh so punt plus mute so punt without
you know what? That's very convincing for, you know, transforming literally this sound into Salpon simply using an emulator. That's quite accurate. I think there's a little bit of tuning. If I'm honest, I think I want to get rid of it. That's a little bit better. I didn't quite like the highs of it, but the fact that you have that option to EQ, you can use your scroll wheel on your mouse as well to fine tune that a little bit. And I think I actually want to put a low shelf there. Sorry, high shelf. <laughs> yeah, my EQ's mixed up. There we go. Yeah, that's very convincing. Very good. And the fact that we've got multiple options as well. See how these others sound. I like the fact we've got multiple options here because this third one's a lot more subtle than the second one. The first one I feel is in between the first and second while the third is kind of the less harsher one. The fact that you could probably stick this on absolutely anything you want and with something like BBC Symphony Orchestra you think this pro version or even the core, the core is like what 500, this the full version is like eight, 900 pounds and when you can stick something like this emulator which is currently £33 on just about anything you want from free to paid. It just opens up so many more options to you. And it's actually quite an impressive emulator, I feel. It's not, I feel, going to be perfect, but it's close enough where it's convincing me. I don't know, is it convincing you? <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that. Anyway, Saltasto. Definitely makes a slight difference, but sometimes that's all you need. It's just that little bit more. What else do we have here? Metal. Practice over here. What we got? Well, there you have it. There's so much going for this emulator. I feel we've barely scratched the surface. Of course, you've got a mix dial as well for wet and dry right there in the middle. We've not really touched that. And a gain knob, saturation. The wire down there works in specific articulations, so that won't work for everything, but there's a reason behind that. But overall, this is a really, really cool plugin 
and very useful to expand the palette of sounds that you actually have. I feel it's very convincing. Is it perfect? No. Will it be updated continually? Yes. I really enjoy working with this developer because he listens. And if there's anything you want added to this or anything you feel that needs tweaking that is doable, he will do that continually throughout the process. It may take some time depending on how busy he is, but he does listen. And I really, really do like the brass emulation mutes that we have there because a lot of the times we don't have those available to us with very expensive plugins. And this could help with that. And of course you can fine tune it with the EQ there. It's very simple but very effective. And for £33, I'm not going to be complaining, and it's definitely something I'm going to be using. But there it is, Sordino, normally £74.99, so grab it while it's on sale if you feel it's going to be useful to you and if you're convinced by the quality of the sound. But I hope this video has helped. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.